Hey YouTube, it's Petey Two Finger, and tonight we were downloading the Tone Studio for the Boss. This is an app that lets you uh, edit your patches, and we got a warning, an error message saying you have you have to first you need to install Adobe Air. Now we had bad luck with that. Adobe Air is no longer supported. We found a page on Harmon.com offering a download. It's 700 meg or so. It's a really slow server. When we uncompressed it, it was missing the executable, which that means the file to click on to install it is not there. I Googled, other people had the same issue, and then I ended up finding a version that works. So if you are unable to install your boss tone Quest, what is it called? Tone Studio, Boss Tone Studio. It's not just the GT1B, there's all sorts of Boss devices that utilize this software. If you're getting that message that you need to install Adobe Air, I can help you out. But we're gonna need to pop over here real quick. So we're gonna take a look at my, uh, my screen and I'm gonna show you where I got it. It's right here, the 33.11.744, this version, Adobe Air for Windows 33.11.744. And I'm going to include the link in the description. Now, if you scroll up, you see here's the latest version, 50.2.4.1. And yeah, I'm, I'm a fanatic about having the latest versions of everything if I can, but this didn't work. And we downloaded this uh, from a few different locations, and in every case it was missing the executable. So I'm not sure what's going on. All I know is I found a workaround, whether that's sloppy or I'm bad, I'm a horrible person, and I realize that. I know I know that I'm PD's not good, so if you want to take shots at me in the comments, it's kind of pointless. You know, I, I already know I'm a piece of shit of a person and I'm horrible, and the world will be some, so much of a better place if I wasn't here. But from time to time when I find something I think could help someone out on a jam, I might try to make a video out of that. So maybe take it easy on me on this one. It's airsdk.harman.com forward slash runtime. And I will have this link in the description and I'll also include a copy of this link. Uh, if if you want to see, if you want to argue with me or whatever, here's what we, it's it's 3.22 gig because uh, there's an extra copy in here. I, un, I un, unzipped it twice to make sure. But yeah, there's no executable. And what you're looking for, what you need is this right here. So this, what I'm directing you to, the thing, in, the, the link is 7.48 meg. It's pretty small. It's pretty small. And I, I'm i not exactly sure what version that is. I hate to get so nitpicky about this. I know someone's going to come at me with some some attitude. Because that's just been, it's just kind of been... Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's version 33.1. It's exactly what it said on the thing. So it's not the latest version, but it works. We installed Adobe Air. We installed Boston Studio. And then we were able to uh, physically uh, edit the patch. So it worked. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to go. i got to eat some chili and get some rest. Make sure you remember to hug your pets. And peace.